going to be giving you a closer look at this brilliant travel duffel bag. Now, as you can see, it folds up pretty thin into practically nothing. So the great thing about this duffel bag is that you can store it easily in the closet. You can slip it in between things, in a closet, in a cupboard, any small space. You can hang this. I mean, it's a great one for storage. I know for me, uh, we've recently gone through in our garage and gotten through, a, a, gotten rid of a whole bunch of duffel bags that we had, like just one large duffel bag that we had bags shoved inside of there and we just don't use them anymore. There's no good place to store them. So they got shoved up on a shelf and I don't bother to get them out. Um, lately, I've been getting really smart, collapsible duffel bags and bags like this, which are so much easier for my family because I can fold them up into small things. Then we go to travel or we need a bag for something. You just go to the closet and I have a little bin where I just have several of these bags. They can just be sitting on the shelf there. So it's really smart. I love the way that this one folds up. This is a really large bag. Um, it opens up into, it has an 80 liter capacity. So a really, really large bag. This could be like your main luggage when you're traveling because um, that's how large this uh, size it is. But it also folds up into practically nothing and it's very, very lightweight. So it's actually a pound and a half with nothing in it and just holding it like this. So you're able to have a very large space that you can pack as full as you want. And then especially like for airport travel and weighing your bag, I mean, the weight is just going to be the material that's inside of it. The bag itself weighs very little, a pound and a half, that's it. Okay, so um, this would also fit great if you were carrying like tons of things with you and took them all out. You could compress it really small and shove it into a gym locker. Um, it's really easy for you to take around with you. It comes in four different colors. So this is the blue color. There's also a green. Uh, there's a black. And there's one called rose red that really looks more like a purplish pink to me. It looks more like a pink color than a red. But anyway, let's give you a closer look at this. So um, it folds up, so this is actually the side of it. So it's not a separate pouch. This is a part of the bag that it just folds into itself. And the great thing is that um, the zippers that are actually a part of this bag on the outside, you can use when it's folded up. So you can have it in a pouch, but still be storing things in it. So on this side, I've got my handle stored in it, which is an easy place for me to grab. It's got a little vent being in there. Okay, but I'll pull that out now so you can see it. And let's go ahead and unfold this. Okay, so you just unzip it like so. And it opens up like a book to reveal your bag. So when you go to fold this up again, just look for that side that has the two pockets. Okay, compress it, fold it in half. And you will have to tuck in the edges a bit so that it's just the zipper there. And then you're able to fold it up. It's a lot easier if you're laying it down and you can just fold those sides in a little bit. Um, but that's how you fold it. So just look for that side with the two pockets and fold in that way. Okay, now take a look at this. This is a large travel duffel bag. So you've got plenty of room. Now there's that side there with the two pockets that you fold into. Okay. Here I'm going to put my clips on. You've got these plastic clips. And they clip on really nicely and smoothly. Okay, so they are plastic around the edge, but that clip there in the middle is metal. So you're definitely going to, this is going to be more durable and you're not going to be looking at breakage there. You can also see that these swivel nicely for while you're holding. So definitely durable. Um, there's not anything on here that looks or feels cheap. Okay, and then they snap on this clip that it snaps onto. It's a little bit thicker, and that's why it's taking me a minute to kind of pop that metal piece out. There we go. Okay, so it clips on there. It's not going to slip off, and then to remove it, you just push in that metal piece, and you can pull it off. I'm going to leave mine on. Because there's not really too many scenarios that I use this stuff a bag that I'm going to be taking that off. Okay, and you've got these large straps here if you wanted to carry it this way. And it also has this piece here so that you can put those straps together and carry as one. I love that. 
and it also gives a little padding on there as well. Really love that feature in a duffel bag. Okay. So you've got this large, very large open space. And this material looks like material that is tear resistant and also water resistant. I think water would just roll off of this and get spilled on it. Keep your things dry. So on this side, you have a mesh pocket on the side, which is nice to organize and keep things loose. You can see what's in there, um, but it's kind of tucked away. Because it is a larger bag, it's nice to have a couple of pockets for organization. Okay, so on this back side here, you have these semi-sheer pockets that you can really fit as much in there as you want. So you can organize some of your smaller items if you're packing a lot in here because you have the room to do that. Okay, and then on the other side here, you can see the liner of the shoe compartment. So let's show you that on the outside of the bag. This bag has got everything that you want in a duffel bag. Okay, so here's the shoe compartment in here. Now this material in the shoe compartment is water resistant. It's also odor resistant, which is really nice. So if you put shoes in here that happen to be dirty or something like that, and you've got a lot of space, okay? Um, so rather than squeezing like underneath your bag, that will just push out into the middle of your bag. So you've got this whole area, so it's not one of those thin shoe compartments that slides underneath. Um, so it's water resistant, odor resistant, and this material wipes out really nice, uh, really cleanly. So if you pull out shoes and you put in shoes that happen to be dirty, they're not going to be touching anything else in your bag, they won't get in your clothes or anything else. You can pull them out and then easily pull out this pouch and take just a wet rag, maybe with some soap on it, and be able to wash that off, and it dries very quickly. And then you can just insert that back in here. If you don't want to be using the shoe compartment, as you can see, this pouch will just pull over, you can shove it over to the side, and you have this whole side free. So that pouch isn't taking up any excess room, but it's convenient to use to keep those shoes separate. A really large bag. Now I am going to pause and take a moment here to fill this up with some blankets or something so I can show you the shape of it and how it looks when it's full. So I'll be back in a sec. All right, so I am back with a semi-full bag. I just went out to my family room and grabbed some very large throw blankets. There's like three or four in here. Okay, this is how big this can get. You can easily pack your whole family in this and just if you're going like on a car trip or something like that and just pack everything in here, throw it in the back of your car and be good to go. Okay, so you can pack this super full. It is huge. 80, 80 liter capacity and that's no joke on this. Okay, so the adjustable strap here, you can adjust. Now I need a little bit shorter because I'm a short person. When I pull it shorter, this um, shoulder rest gets pushed to the side, okay? So when I've got it as short as I need it, which would be about here, I, I can no longer utilize this shoulder rest. So that's kind of the one thing about this. And it's kind of one of those rubbery plastic ones. So it's not the most comfortable in shoulder rest. What I could do though, is take this off. Oh, never mind, that's attached. That's sewn in there. So that's nice, you can't lose it. I was just thinking that I could put it on here for a little cushion. But um, this is actually pretty comfortable with just the strap. Now if I put super heavy things in here, I might want a little bit extra cushion on here. But this is what you have on the bag. So one downfall um, for the bag for me is just this shoulder rest here. But really everything else, it's got every other feature that you could possibly want and it's high quality on everything else. So here it is, all filled. And then you still have, I still have plenty of room to use these pockets in the side. Okay. So really large, nice size duffel bag. When you're done using, you empty out and take this, fold it in half and zip it up. So you can see that it's a very, very large bag for tons of storage, but then it collapses down into a very small pouch. Awesome. And that is it for this Monet's travel duffel bag that is collapsible and folds up small. Very smart design, easy use for travel. You could also bring this along with you um, 
if you wanted to like fold this up into nothing and put it in your and you're in the back of your van and when you go grocery shopping load this up so all you have to do is carry in this huge bag I mean this is a great one that you can collapse to nothing but if you plan to go somewhere and come back with a whole bunch of extra stuff you can open this up and you've got plenty of extra room for any kind of souvenir any anything that you want to be coming home with you plenty of room 80 liters of storage space great double bag